Being quiet is the best way to deal with anger. Things could be better, even though a lot of crazy things are going on around us. Sun Tzu, a wise old man, said this, and it kind of fits with what we're talking about now, being stoic. Think about this. You're as calm as a cucumber even though everything is a mess. This is the mood we're going for today, stern. We're going to talk a lot about being quiet, which may sound dull, but bear with us. It's really important. It's not enough to block out noise. You have to find a crazy, deep peace inside yourself. It's like having a lot of inner strength that doesn't make any noise. Being able to be quiet well can make all the difference in this crazy, noisy world that helps you find what's important amidst all the chows. This is what the Stoics, those old philosophers, believed. Not to them, silence was an empty space. They thought it was smart and a good way to get tough. If all the noise of life is getting to you, or if you just want to find some peace in the chaos, or if you're just interested in how doing less can be more, you've come to the right place. Our goal is to learn more about Stoicism as a group. We're going to look at how being quiet can make you better in every way. Are you ready to take your life to the next level with some old wisdom? Click the button that says subscribe and stay with us. Let's find out what the real power of silence is and how it can completely change your game, giving you peace and focus when everything else is going crazy. Think about this. You have a lot at stake. Moment, like a tense sale or a heated argument. Instead of just getting in with a quick answer, you don't say anything. It's not because you're weak. Nope. A move in strategy right out of the book of the old Stoics. Also, notice how keeping quiet puts the other person off. People start to guess, question, and wonder what's going through your mind. What about that uncertainty? You should keep this as a secret tool. Silence can say a lot, better and stronger than words. That being said, here's the cool thing while they try to figure you out. Keep your cool, your calm. You have a clear head as you watch, think about, and plan your next move. It's not just about having the upper hand. It's about being smart and strict, like a real conservative. You can relax and think better when there is silence. To really pay attention to more than just what's being said, it's your shield, your plan, and a reflection of how strong you are inside. The world is full of things that can take our attention away. Stoicism teaches us to stay grounded, keep our focus, and find peace and clarity in the middle of the chaos. It's not enough of what we say or do. It's also how we respond and keep our cool. Fixed it. So remember the power of quiet the next time you're in a tough spot. Accept it. Let it lead you and give you strength. Focus on what's important and don't let the noise bother you during the storm. That's where stoicism's true beauty shows. Let's talk about changing things, not just having to deal with tough issues while also making things better beginning with our own thoughts. Imagine getting rid of all the noise and messages that are always buzzing. All the messages that never stop. What's still there? There is space to think and reflect. To learn more about the ideas of smart old people who knew how important quiet time was, like Marcus Aurelius or Epictetus. Now you might be thinking how we can stop all of this noise. What does it mean? It means being deliberate about what we pay attention to. Setting aside time to check email or social media, making sure your workspace is quiet, or just taking short breaks during the day could help. It's not that people should give up all modern life, but to go through it on purpose, like an old wise man. But there's something. Getting rid of outside noise is only half the puzzle. Also, we need to stop the inner chatter that questions our fears and the never-ending what-ifs. We can use stoicism to help us with that, too. Keep your attention on the things you can change and let go of the rest. The smartest parts of us start to show up when we are calm inside. Also, getting rid of all this noise is good for us and makes us better at everything. Our relationships, our jobs, and even the things we do for fun. We pay more attention to the world around us and are more in the present. That's why I'm challenging you. Try some things that Stoics do. Don't try too hard at first. 
Maybe set aside some time every day to think quietly and away from all the digital noise. Check out how it changes your VB, your ideas, your choices, and everything else. This is how we make our lives more focused, calm, and quiet. Did you ever notice how stopping a conversation, everyone sits up and pays attention. It's like how the quiet parts of a song make the loud parts more powerful. That's the power of silence, which is very important to Stoics. It's all about being thoughtful, about knowing when to do nothing and letting that silence say a lot. Picture this in the middle of a loud party or a heated argument. Someone doesn't say anything. They don't join in the conversation. They just listen. Yes, really. Pay attention. What do you know? Their lack of speech is more powerful than any words. It seems like we're sending out a strange vibe when we don't speak up when everyone hopes we will. People start to wonder what they're thinking. Why don't they say something? This quiet gives you some power that makes people want to know more. But this silence has a deeper meaning that comes from Stoic knowledge. So, Stoicism is all about putting a high value on what matters, not just things that are loud or flashy. We are very careful with the words we use when we talk. Sometimes, when we don't say anything, it gives other people a chance to talk about how they feel. Being quiet does not mean you are passive. It takes thought to know when to speak up and when to let silence speak for itself. It's about figuring out how people talk to each other and how powerful every word we say or don't say is. It can make a big difference in our lives to learn how to use silence well. Stress can be eased, relationships can get better, and even our mental health can improve. Stoic ideas teach us to live our lives with balance and thought, so it's like a skill we can get better at over time. When everything around you is always busy, accepting silence might seem odd. Still. It's in the quiet times that we find our inner power and peace. To find peace and knowledge in the stillness is what Stoicism is all about. Take a look at this. When we need a break from all the noise, we let our minds breathe when we're with them, like getting somewhere quiet. Place in a busy city. It's good to know. You don't have to shut out the world to be silent. It works our thoughts out in a way. In the same way that pulling weights makes our bodies stronger. Quieting down makes our minds stronger. We can face our inner confusion head on without getting too stressed out. We also get clear during these quiet times. It's like getting a room clean. We can now tell the difference between what's important and what's just junk. This helps us make choices that are better for us and that matter to us. But being quiet isn't just about being by yourself. It's about being aware of ourselves. When we're alone with our thoughts, we find out what we believe in, what matters to us, and what makes us tick. Being sure of who we are gives us the strength to always be true to ourselves. The cool part is, it shows on the outside when we're strong and clear on the inside. When we talk to other people, we bring a sense of calm and purpose. As Stoicism teaches us, we are all linked to each other and everything around us. This helps us understand that what we say and do has more meaning in the bigger picture. It's like taking off a big bag. We feel better, lighter, and more alive. If you ever find a moment of silence, enjoy it. It's not just a break from the noise. It's a chance to learn more about yourself and grow, and to get to know the world around you better. What does it mean to be? Being humble? It's not about telling ourselves we're not good enough or putting ourselves down. It's about being able to see our flaws and strengths clearly and not getting upset about it. Being humble means realizing that our successes don't make us better than other people and our flaws don't make us who we are. Don't brag about what you've done. Instead, stay balanced, whether you win or fail. Being humble means letting what we do speak for itself. When we do that, we feel calm because we're not depending on what other people think to make us feel good about ourselves. Now for the cool part. Being humble makes us willing to learn and grow. We get along better with each other, listen better, and become more involved in our community. We are ready to learn from everyone. How then can we be more humble? 
The key is to look inside ourselves. As we try to live our lives, we think about why we do the things we do. We remember that it's okay that we're not perfect, just like everyone else. Being humble also helps our partnerships. People like us more when we're not always trying to prove ourselves or look good. We pay more attention, think before we speak, and have deeper connections with others when we have important conversations. It's important to know when to talk and when to be quiet. There are times when being quiet can make us stronger. It makes us feel relaxed and in charge, and it can even help the other person talk more freely. Stoics, on the other hand, don't use silence to trick people or play games. So we can act wisely instead of just responding in the moment. We need to find peace within ourselves. We give ourselves a chance to think things through and really understand what's going on when we stop. It's not just about getting ahead when we choose to be quiet in a talk. This shows that you value what hasn't been said yet. It's like letting the words stand on their own and have an effect. When we pause, we let people know that we're paying attention to what they're saying. People respect us because it shows that we're careful and on purpose. This thought of purposeful silence fits in perfectly with what Stoics believe. They stress how important it is to listen as well as speak. Hearing someone out can help us figure out what they need and want, which can lead to answers that work for everyone. How do we get better at being quiet, though? We need to first know ourselves. We need to know what makes us want to speak out so that we can stop ourselves. Plus, you need to be sure of yourself. We have to believe that our point of view is important, even if we don't have much to say. As the talks go on, quiet can look different. There could be a break after a big point to give it time to sink in. It could also be a quiet moment to collect our thoughts when things get tough. Giving other people a chance to talk about their feelings and thoughts is also sometimes important. The Stoics think that everyone is linked and a part of the same human family. This means that when we are kind and thoughtful, we're not just being nice. For Stoics, it means that we see the link. Not big actions, but those little ones that show you understand and wait. It's even better when you choose to support thought instead of criticizing it. To really try to understand where the other person is coming from and see things from their point of view. People will trust and value us more if we treat them with this much care and thought. Giving people a place to meet in a real way makes the world a little better for everyone. Why is being kind and thoughtful so important? Well, being kind to other people isn't just about making them feel good. It also makes us feel calm and happy. Stoicism tells us that how we treat other people affects our own happiness. We live by Stoic values when we choose to be kind. These values help us live in peace and balance. The cool thing is that being kind can make other people want to do the same. It's like a wave that makes everyone in our town more kind and understanding. Just think what would happen if everyone tried to be a little nicer and more understanding. Things could be very different in the world. How then do we make this happen every day? Being aware, paying attention to how we connect with others, and looking for chances to be kind are the first steps. It means stopping to think before we act and picking actions that show kindness, courage, self-control, and wisdom, which are the main ideas behind Stoicism. In a world where everyone talks all the time, being able to listen carefully is a rare and useful skill. Also, it fits perfectly with Stoic ideas, which stress understanding and sensitivity. It's not enough to just hear words when you listen deeply. It means really knowing what someone is saying and how they feel and what they want to say. When we listen carefully, we show that we value and respect the other person, realizing how valuable they are as people. Since everyone has their own problems and stories that need to be heard and understood, this is an act of kindness. But there are more perks to deep listening than just being nice. It also helps us learn and grow by giving us fresh ideas and ways of looking at things that can affect what we do and how we make choices. Let's try to listen carefully, to be kind and make the world a better place for everyone. So how can we really listen to other people better?
It all starts with having the right frame of mind. Don't think about what you want to say. Instead, go into every exchange wanting to learn something new. This change in the way you think brings you closer to stoic ideas of being wise and calm. Next, work on being fully present. It's rare and valuable to give someone your full attention in a world full of things that need your attention. Put down your phone and anything else that might be distracting you. Now, pay attention to the person in front of you. Do not forget that listening is more than just hearing. It's about everything about you, like your looks, your body language, and your thoughts. You need to be patient and in charge to listen deeply. These are stoic virtues that help us not talk over someone or judge them while they're talking. It means giving them time to say everything they want to say before you answer. And after you listen, give yourself some time to think. Think about what you heard, how the words made you feel, and what it all means. This helps you react with care and thought, which is in line with the Stoic idea of being measured. Action after thought. Stoicism tells us that reflective wisdom is more than just learning new things or having quick replies. It's about getting to know ourselves, our beliefs, and the world around us better. This understanding starts with self reflection or taking the time to honestly look at our own thoughts, actions, and responses. But getting reflective knowledge doesn't happen by itself. Stoicism tells us that every person is linked to every other person. So, as we learn more about ourselves, we also learn how to connect with and understand other people. It's important to think about the world around us. We can see the bigger picture when we think about our relationships our place in society, and how we affect other people. Are we making things more peaceful or more chaotic? With this broader view, we can be sure that our knowledge helps everyone, not just ourselves. Let's talk about what to do with this knowledge now. Being reflectively wise isn't just thinking, it's also acting. It shapes the things we do, the decisions we make, and how we deal with other people. Our choices are smarter when they come from a place of deep knowledge. Our deeds have more meaning, and be more careful with our words. We learn how to deal with tough situations, keep our cool under pressure, and adjust to new situations. It's a way of life that helps us deal with the ups and downs of life with more ease and calm. So how do we get better at this kind of thoughtful wisdom? Making time to think about things is the first step. You could write in a notebook, think about your day, or talk things over with friends. It means being willing to ask tough questions and listen to any solutions that come our way. You should think about the future, live in the present, and learn from the past. Having a learner's mindset is also very important. Life is the best teacher, and everything we do teaches us something. We can learn from everything that life throws at us and become smarter and more curious along the way if we keep an open mind and are curious. Another important thing is resilience. It's not about dodging pain or acting like everything is fine. It's about taking on problems head on, taking what you learned from them and getting better. Though we can't change everything, Stoicism shows us that we can change how we react. When we react with clarity, reason, and virtue, we make ourselves truly resilient. So how do we make ourselves stronger? First, Stoicism tells us to face our problems without feeling sorry for ourselves so we can concentrate on what really counts, what we did, and how we grew. When you keep things in perspective. Stoics think that what makes us upset is how we think about things, not the things themselves. We can handle anything that comes our way with more ease and grace if we look at things in a bigger picture. Take a look at this. We go through hard times, which are like pieces in our life story, and there's room to learn, grow, and change, just like in any good story. Putting our problems in the context of this bigger picture doesn't make them less painful, but it does help us get better after they happen. Now let's talk about how the people we know help us get through hard times. A lot of the time, stoicism is about being strong by ourselves, but that's not the whole picture. Take a look at it this way. 
We don't grow and get through hard times by ourselves. We do it with people who understand how hard it is, help us and share what they've learned from their own encounters. We're stronger because of these links, which tell us that we're not alone. To be resilient, we have to work at it. Our skills get better as we use them. We get better at getting back on our feet after a rough patch when we face and deal with challenges, just like a muscle gets stronger when we use it. We can use our stoic principles to be strong, stay calm, and stay true to our values every time we face a problem. Finding our inner power and using it to deal with the ups and downs of life is what it means to be resilient. It's about watching bad times as chances to learn and grow and becoming smarter and better along the way. As we come to the end of our study of Stoicism, keep in mind that you already have all the strength you need. You can use that power to keep going by thinking about what you've been through, getting stronger, and finding wisdom. Thanks for going on this journey with me to learn and grow. You're not just sitting there and doing nothing. You are part of a group of people who are all trying to learn more about Stoicism and how it can change our lives. Do not stop now. Keep looking around. If you want to learn more about Stoicism and keep building your spirit with other travelers, click on one of the suggested videos as we go on this journey of change. Thanks for watching.